Hey guys, Henry here, and today we're going to be talking about the new Netflix docuseries, Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness. I've just seen the series and read up on a few things and wanted to discuss what happened to the people involved after the end of the series. Tiger King has been an absolute hit on Netflix, and this show has captured so many people's attention. It's a mix of an insane unfolding story involving a feud between Joe Exotic, an eccentric Tiger Park zookeeper who blows stuff up in his spare time and makes music videos and web shows as a side hustle, and also ran for political office, and Carol Baskin, who is the owner of, of a big cat rescue sanctuary who suspiciously inherited millions after the disappearance of her millionaire husband. And she is on a mission to shut down tiger breeders and tiger zookeepers such as Joe Exotic. And on top of all this, everyone is in lockdown due to the coronavirus outbreak with very limited access to, you know, our usual forms of entertainment, going outside, spending time with friends, a lot of sports are cancelled, you can't even go out and play sports anymore, live music is cancelled. So entertainment options out there have really been restricted. And this show makes a pretty good escape from the constant bad news of what's going out there in this global pandemic. This show caught the perfect storm to become a global sensation. In Joe Exotic, the Tiger King himself is now famous, what he's always wanted to be. But the irony is he can't experience any of it because he's in jail. So if you haven't seen the series and you are intrigued, definitely go ahead and go watch it. There are seven episodes, a total of five hours, and it's pretty easy to just fly through it. And let's be honest, what else are you doing at home? This project spanned over five years. And what's really interesting about it is that it clearly started off as a specific project sort of exploring you know, th this tiger culture in America, and it just kept expanding and unfolding as the people followed these interesting characters that were involved in all of this. And it just evolved into a completely different beast. Less so about the cats, and more so about the big egos and personalities that wanted to use those cats for their personal gain. It is a roller coaster of a series to say the least. In this video, I wanna look at the aftermath what happened after the end of the series, where the people are at now. Um, so there will be spoilers ahead and you have been warned. Joe Exotic was convicted in April 2019 and sentenced in January 2020 and has been in federal prison ever since. But he's not sitting on his hands and he maintains his innocence and has filed a lawsuit seeking almost $94 million in damages against the Department of the Interior, a prosecutor, Jeff Lowe, the guy that now owns Joe Exotic's zoo, and a bunch of other people, claiming that he was the victim of discrimination as an openly gay male with the largest collection of generic tigers and crossbreeds. Somehow, Joe's Facebook page is still active and he is posting on it asking for help, even pleading to President Trump asking him to pardon him. But he has vowed from jail that his feud with Carol Baskin is over. Carol Baskin, who runs Big Cat Rescue, a non-profit sanctuary in Florida, has disputed several of the mis- impressions that the show has given off about her sanctuary and has criticized the show for being salacious and sensational and depicting her in a way that almost insinuates she murdered her husband. She says generally only 20 visitors are allowed on the sanctuary property at any one time and the sanctuary does not operate like a zoo trying to attract as many visitors as possible. The size of the animal enclosures aren't just tiny cages and the smallest of the enclosures is actually equivalent to the size of a small house. The salaries of their workers as well, they're not just all volunteers, they actually pay them between 30,000 to 60,000 a year. And all that money made by the nonprofit is put back into the company and the battle for the preservation of big cats and that she is not personally profiting. The show most definitely tried to depict her as an equivalent of Joe Exotic or Doc Antle and other roadside zoo owners. Watching the show, I definitely felt like she was essentially doing the same thing, using the tigers for her own benefit, amassing power and wealth in the process. But a lady called Kate Dilowinski, an animal welfare activist and senior policy advisor for the Animal Welfare Institute, has said that she's worked with Baskins for years trying to pass the Big Cat Public Safety Act trying to outlaw the new ownership of big cats and that Baskins had a fairly good reputation amongst other animal welfare activists and that her portrayal in the show was unfair. In my opinion, it sort of is the same thing. She isn't rehabilitating the cats to go back into the wild. 
she's still keeping them in cages for the duration of their life, albeit potentially in more favorable conditions, and she isn't breeding tigers for cute cub pics, so I'll give her that. To be fair to her, the show did really focus and hone in on the disappearance of her husband and really gave the impression that she was on par with Joe Exotic, but had somehow brainwashed people into thinking that she was a saint. Making the show more about the big personalities and sensationalizing their feud rather than really discussing animal cruelty. She does say that the people that they've interviewed had no credibility, but they literally interviewed his lawyer and his family and people that work with him, so I don't know what that really says about her comments, but I do feel like, you know, there's a lot of evidence pointing in her direction, although not directly, but I think it sort of makes sense when you connect the dots. Yeah, he's still missing, and as I suggested, I do think Carol did it. I don't know if she fed him to the tigers or pushed him out of plane or whatever, but I feel like the change in the power of attorney and the change to the will was just too suspicious. And that really just confirmed for me that she was definitely involved. John Finley, Joe Exotic's ex-husband, although they were never officially married, he's now got teeth. So that's good. Jeff Lowe, he's now found himself on Cameo. Uh, I think it's a thing where you can pay celebrities or B-list stars or whatever to send you a personalized video message or send your friend a personalized video message. But he has four open cases in Las Vegas Municipal Court. I think a lot of people are interested in seeing what happens to Jeff Lowe because he definitely came off as extremely scummy in the documentary. Apparently, there will be one more episode of Tiger King hitting Netflix. Jeff Lowe actually dropping this news in a recording he made on Cameo saying that they're filming here tomorrow. So it seems like we will be getting an updated dose of Tiger King really soon. I don't know if this will be an additional episode or whether it'll be sort of like a reunion episode. I don't know how they plan to do it, but you know, I'm curious for more of this stuff. So it's definitely welcomed. Joe Exotic Zoo, now owned by Jeff Lowe, has been closed, but it's only been closed because of coronavirus. After the show aired, they've actually had heaps and heaps of business, but as they're not considered an essential service, they were ordered to shut down. And honestly, this upsets me. This tells me that the show really did fail to educate people because now even more people are going to go to these places, these roadside zoos, and support this type of behavior. Man, people are just disappointing. And the fact that people might consider Joe even a hero or consider that he doesn't deserve to be in jail, I don't think that's right. I mean, he's the star of the show, but he has done a lot of terrible things. And although you might be able to sympathize with him, and yes, he might regret what he's done, and honestly, it seems like he has, it's still not right to consider him to be a hero at all. The producers, Eric Good and Rebecca Chaiklin, have said that there's still a crazy amount of footage that they haven't got to use. And of course, the story is still unfolding to this very day. So they definitely have not closed the door on a potential follow-up season. And I'm assuming that's probably gonna get greenlit considering the success of Tiger King. This show is also gonna be brought to life by Kate McKinnon and the team at UCP, Universal Content Productions, with Kate McKinnon executive producing and also playing the role of Carol Baskin. So far it's early days and the project is still in internal development, but Carol Baskin has already asked for the use of CGI tigers instead of real ones. Judging by the success of this docuseries, I do expect that people will be tuning into this miniseries and people will be waiting excitedly for the premiere. I don't really know what angle they're going to take, whether they're going to be more sided with Carol or more sided with Joe Exotic or spin it and make it more dramatic, but hopefully it does justice and actually talks more about the animal conservation that this docuseries failed to do. I think it just adds more fuel to this fire that is the Tiger King. Considering all the people talking about it out there on Twitter, considering all the podcasts going on about it, considering I'm making this video right now and other people making similar videos, this is a massive hype train. And I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon, considering we're all at home with nothing to do. Honestly, in watching this show, I did not learn anything about the caring for big cats, the rules as to who can own big cats, and what are the requirements for caring for those big cats. Literally, other than that final credit title saying that there are less than 4,000 tigers in the wild and between five to 10,000 in captivity in America, this show failed to educate me on anything to do with animal conservation. All I've learned from watching this show is that there are some batshit crazy people doing some crazy ass shit, all fighting over big cats. And while it is entertaining for us, it is those animals that are suffering. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this series. And do you think Carol Baskin killed her husband? <coughs> she definitely did. Thank you guys again, and I'll catch you guys next time.